Toxic blue green algae has made people very sick. It's killed pets and it can cripple our local economy. That's why $35 million of next year's budget is going towards fighting it. I'm not really excited about spending $35 million to to treat a active bloom. Uh, I'd rather see the monies put forth to uh, prevent the formation of the blooms in the first place. While Indian River Keeper Mike Connor was happy to see a good chunk of money set aside for combating blue green algae, he feels the money should be spent tackling the source of the problem. We need to get water projects in the ground, above ground storage, North Lake Okeechobee, to decrease the amount of water and nutrients that come in the lake. And that is the way to stop blue green algae. Governor Ron DeSantis announced today that part of next year's budget will include $35 million to improve water quality and combat the effects and impacts of harmful algal blooms, including blue green algae and red tide. 15 million of which will go towards innovative technologies and short term solutions to aid in the prevention, cleanup, and mitigation of harmful algal blooms. That goes to things like innovative technologies. It goes to things like red tide research, both at FWC. We've also done a lot with Moat Marines. Connor says innovative technologies basically means new technology to figure out how to address the algal blooms after they've already formed. When you do disturb an active bloom, when you do something to a bloom to stress it, but guess what? That's when it, that's when it secretes the microcystin, which is the toxin that is harmful to humans and animals. Connor says using chemicals to treat the toxic algae could also harm not only creatures in the waterways, but also phytoplankton, which is a key part of the ecosystem. Gianna Caserta, WPBF 25 News.